one down. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. and oh. Kicks and deals. That's ball two. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. Boog, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yeah, exactly. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball three. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Batting seven. And it's Reese the Hoskins up to the 17. dish. Reese. In there for strike one. Schwarber leads off first with one away. Next pitch misses. One and one. One and one. Righty delivers, and another ball. Kicks and fires, and it's even up. Love to see it, power versus power right there. And the righty deals. And that's downstairs and outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That one lifted to left. Hernandez on his way over, makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay that close. Is. The shortstop, Bryson. Stop. And at first, here's the shortstop at the play. Bryson stop. Aye. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. And the home team down to run. Life is water. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Up now for Washington, Nelson Cruz. The designated hitter. 
Meltzer. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. And now the lefty. Swing and a ball popped up. Stop. Makes the play. And a quick out number one. Batting fifth. The center fielder. Play. Thomas. Here's Lane Thomas. He has consistently been one of the best in the sport against lefties. And yet the righties give him trouble. You know, you don't want to be labeled as that guy. But the numbers say what they say. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. It's there, and that's a great play. That is good. The first baseman, Josh Bell. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Next offering is down low. And it's one and oh. On the ground, right side. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for Washington. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in for Philadelphia, for Philadelphia. Garrett Stubbs. The catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Gray, back to work. There's a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. offering misses and it's one and one just missed with that backdoor breaking ball if he gets a swing and miss or called strike 0 2 count instead it's one one look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat so now one and two I think he was sitting off speed there the one two oh that got away from him and he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon field. as it leaves the pitcher's the hand, you start bracing for an Luis impact, knowing that it's going to be Garcia. hard to get out of the way of that one. Garcia batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Stokes gets his lead at first. Nobody out. The next pitch misses at one and one. Righty to the plate. Gonna count one and two. The pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Thomas settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting. Third baseman. Alec Bone. And now it's Alec Bone. He's 0 for 1. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses. Throw, and they got it. 
You know, when you've got cooler temperatures like this, sometimes it's a little harder to get some offense going because guys just don't want to feel the sting in their hands. They don't barrel it up. So being aggressive there, trying to get into scoring position by stealing a bag, I get it. Sometimes you just have to try to manufacture some runs, especially in temperatures like this. The 1-0. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. Lays out. He's got it. Over the first. They get the out. And that'll do it. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. Here's the left fielder, Yadiel Hernandez. No left fielder. And the pitch. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Around first, digging for two. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StackCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. We talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half. That and just unloaded okay. on that ball. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Runner at second, nobody out. Next one misses, and it's a ball to strike. to third. Fires across the diamond. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting done. The second base Cesar. Hernandez. Here is Cesar Hernandez. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And first offering is fouled off. One to one. One out and a runner at second. The pitch. Stays alive. Mm -hmm. 
And it's second. Line drive. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. Stop with a relay home. But it's off the end. He will score. It's 1-1. One -one. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And now it's Luis Garcia. Third baseman number two, Luis. First off, bring it and just misses. The pitch. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And a foul ball left side. And here it comes. And now the count is even. And now it's filled up. And a pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. One two-run shot. And they grab the lead. It's 3-1. Breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul, but not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul ball. No matter. Now Number it's the three. shortstop, Alcides shortstop. Escobar. Oh, All for one with a flyer. Escobar. First Escobar. offering misses the mark. Still only one out here in the inning. Rolled over to third. And there's two down. Now batting, right fielder, Juan Soto. Here's Juan Soto. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Yo one. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. Hit on the ground to the right side. Hoskins takes it to the bag. That's the inning. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. New inning getting started. Stepping in the long ball threat, Bryce Harper. Philadelphia. The right field. Well, after putting up a right. nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Left field, way back there. That one carrying. On the warning track, 
and hauls it in. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And now, Simone Muziati. Flied out his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Next offering is down low. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Left field, Hernandez settles under this one, brings it in. That's out number two. Up next for Philadelphia, the designated hitter. Francisco Two outs, bases empty. Francisco Morales stands in for the Phillies. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. And a base hit. And now a two out opportunity for Kyle Schwarber. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted now his that, hands. Nice job of going the other way. Kyle Schwarber. Two outs, runner at first. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. He's good, he's and good. there he goes. Pitch Point outside. Out. Throw to second, hey. and he's safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. And the 1-0. Never get on the right side, but foul. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Ball misses. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Very risky right there to try to steal third with two outs and a left-hander at the plate. And there's an open lane for that catcher to throw down. But he gambled. Now he's at third, 90 feet closer. Perhaps a ball in the dirt that gets away from the catcher, and they pick up a run. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. <laughs> Good eye right there. Tying run at the plate. So now two on and two outs. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Now look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First offering misses badly for ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Runners on first and third, two away. Next offering is fouled back. Strike two. Stopper misses down and away.
And he did. Now this is in the air down the line. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. And a run comes in to score. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. This is Bryson Stock. That one's in there on one. Two on, two outs. Oh. One and one. Base hit. One run is in. Now two runs score. It's 4-3. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's the catcher to hit. Garrett Stubbs. He was plumped in his first trip to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Left-hand batter waits. Yeah, there's the strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Phillies four and the Nationals three. Back in Washington, D.C. Bottom four. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Nelson Cruz. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. Here comes the throw. But he's in there easily. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. There's so many positives that led to that knock. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. Number 28. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that. <laughs> Pitch. Up the middle. Stop. Fix it up. In plenty of time. The first, and that is a big first out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Yeah. Digging in, Josh Bell, the switch hitter batting right. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. Nope. You have a oh. double play opportunity set up. Hey. 
next offering is in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Runner leads away at second. Fouls one off. Two and two. Runner at second here. One gone. Next one is off the plate. Full count back. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two down. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your skull. Now Just bad. one out away from getting good. out of a huge jam. Oh, yeah. oh, that bad. Next to hit for the Nats, Yadiel Hernandez. That one ripped. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So one left for Washington. They still trail it here, 4-3. to three. Back here in Nationals Park. We go to the top of the fifth. So digging in we now for Philadelphia, field. Luis the Garcia. Luis Garcia. The right-hander back to work. Going one. Oh, one's the count. Ball one. one there. One and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Kicks and deals. And that one in the air center field. Thomas racing over to make the catch. Now batting. Third baseman. Alec Bohm. Here's the third baseman. Alec Bohm. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ground ball left side. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now, here is Harper. In there for strike one. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Action in the pen down there. Mason Thompson, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Lee getting cranked up as well. Next offering is downstairs. Righty delivers, and a foul ball. And a pitch, and now it's even up. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. 
and we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Two two down. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. And a three two. Liner snagged at first. Now back the center field. Simone Muziati. This is Simone Muziati. Rips one to right. Well, that's a base hit. Here comes Bohm around third. He will score, and they take a two-run lead. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing now around right there. Solid swing from start to end. Go. On time with everything. Morales. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner at first with two away. Here's the Phillies DH, Francisco Morales. First offering misses the mark. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Next pitch off the play, and it's 2-1. and one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The pitch. This one in the air center field. Thomas under it. And that'll do it. So they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 5-3. You see how hot my degrees be? You see them jock trying to be me? It's only Welcome back. Now at the plate, Hebert Ruiz. Leading off for Washington, the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. The pitch. On the ground to third. Throws to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back, second baseman, Jacob Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez up to the plate. One for one with a double and a run score. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Two balls, no play. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Two up. There's the swing in a miss. At the belt and fight. Foul ball. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change ups. Probably won't see another one here. Now all even up. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. And it hits the fence. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. You can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now up for Washington, Luis Garcia. Luis. First pitch, and he just misses. Hernandez, the runner at second with one away.
This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. The batter, number three. Shortstop. Now the number two hitter, Alcides Escobar. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Runner at second, two down. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Luciano drifts towards it, and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. Nationals leave one. They're still down. 5-3. Mason Thompson takes over on the mound. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And here it comes. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. And a count one and two. And now two and two. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. And now the Reese Hoskins. Number 17. One for two. Reese Hoskins. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Jeffrey Rodriguez. The young right-hander up and throwing. The pitch. Inside, ball two. In the air, right side. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Showed some really nice now patience in that at bat. Shoot Worked himself into right a good in. count. Put a very nice Stop. swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. The batter will be the shortstop, Bryson Stock. Back to the mound. Over to first, and that's an out. The batter, the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. And now for the Phillies, Garrett Stubbs. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. Ball 
Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. There's a strike. Good late oh, sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Part of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Phillies 5 and the Nationals 3. Back in Washington, D.C., bottom of the sixth inning. Here's a big power threat, Juan Soto. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And he deals. And downstairs. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then... If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Bailey Falter getting loose out there. Coonrod getting loose as well. And a pitch. Just missed. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Cruz, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. offering is in for a strike with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here next pitch is outside and the count is one and two And now the lefty. Oh, that one good. missed. Soto. The board here at first with nobody out. The punch out there. And one gone. Now batting. Up now for no, Washington. Field. Lane Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. And he pumps it a strike. Not sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation when he needs something on the ground. The other way, and that's a base hit. They get it in quickly, so first and second, now one out. 
Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Ranger Suarez. Won't go any further tonight. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. You're Kyle Gibson three. gets the ball now, now and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Josh Bell at the plate now. down the line, base hit, coming around third is Soto, the run scores, here comes the second, the relay throw, slide save, all tied again, 5-5, five, five. got to be feeling great about that double, big spot and he drives in too, just a really nice job of turning on that bench and smoking it down the line, there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Yadiel Hernandez now digging in for the Nationals. Yadiel. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. That one down the line. Dives and he can't hang on. Oh, he throws it away. And he'll pull into second safely. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. He tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't feel it cleanly. A lot of times guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. So two in scoring position with one out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Hebert Ruiz. And the first what offering is not close. And the righty deals. In the air, left field down the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Runner tags for third. He's in on the sack fly, and it's 6-5. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Cesar Hernandez digging in for the Nationals. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Took a little frustrated with the strike zone. Here's the one. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Hernandez around third. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. It's seven to five. Well done, drives in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man, Luis Garcia. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. First pitch, not close. Hernandez off of first with two away. Fly ball to right. Parker settles under it, and that is that. Seventh inning coming up. It's the National Seven and the Phillies Five.
back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Stepping in, Luis Garcia. And there's the one thing on his mind this at bat. Luis get that first hit at the big Garcia. league level. The right hater back to work. Swing and a miss. 1-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. And ball one. Here comes the pitch. Got him. And now one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm for the fourth time tonight. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Right-handed reliever. That one missed, now three and oh. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Here's a 3 0. -oh. And a four pitch walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. On the pitch now for the Nationals, Sam Clay, and he'll work on holding this lead. Bryce Harper to the plate. First offering is fouled off. And misses inside. Runner, runner, runner. runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. See. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And out to Vaughn. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Now here is Simone Muziati. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Runner leads away at second. One and one. Bounce to the right. That ends the frame. One left for Philadelphia, and they're down seven to five.
set for the last half of the seventh. And now up for Washington, Alcides Escobar. For the Nationals, the shortstop. The wide and kick the pitch. Escobar. That one fouled off. Yo won. That one pushed foul. Yo two. Now to short. Stop. Collects it. Sends it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open to seven. The bat. The right field. Long. Soto. Now the youngster wants Soto. And the first Soto. offering is not close. of the pitch and yeah, there's a ball they get to this part of the order yeah there's some pop there but more likely there's some base hits so very important to be patient let the pitcher walk you if he will swing and a miss and now two and two good pitch right there tied him up on the hands if I'm out there on the bump I'm going right back in there and a foul ball he stays alive Pitches outside. And he grounds one to the right side. Stop handles. On the run, throw to first. Two up, two down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, now and back. beat it into the ground. Nelson. Cruz. And now the DH, Nelson Cruz. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball makes the count two and a one. Strike two. Two, two. On the ground at first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That's the third out. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part, but feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even tougher. Great job of hitting that moving target. They're going to be fired up in the dugout. Anna Rainey gets handed the rock out of the pen, trying to protect this lead. Number 21, Anna Rainey. You tell me what's so good about being on Back here at Nationals Park. We go to the eighth, and the batter now, Francisco Morales. The pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a foul ball. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. 
Righty delivers. It's even up. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Ruiz on to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Up next for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. First offering, misses the mark. The pitch. Just off the outside edge. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. The pitch. There's the strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The 3-1. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Thomas has a beat on it. And there are two down. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. First offering, and it just misses. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Kicks and deals. And another ball. On the ground to third, Garcia over to pick it up. Slings it across, and the Phillies are set down in order. Down quickly, go the Phillies. They're down two, seven to five. Don't let drama phase me. See on my grind, heavy full of babies. Life has its ups. Back now, new please. pitcher on the mound as we now roll into the bottom of the eighth, Bailey Falter. And he'll do his best to keep Bailey this close. Falter. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Up now for Washington, Lane Thomas. Leading off for Washington, the center fielder, Lane Thomas. Pitch. Fastball in for a strike. That's strike one. And here it comes. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but we'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's Josh Bell. The first baseman, number 19. Josh. Pitch misses inside. Bell. One and oh. And it's second. Ripped, but it curls foul. No outs. Runner on second. Ground ball to Bone. And that chance handled. Zips it across. One gone to the bottom of the eight. No left fielder. Number 29. Against Bloody Hell. Next to hit for the Nats, Yadiel Hernandez. Yeah. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. Just missed. One and one. a 1-1. Foul back our way and that's out of play. Thomas over at second. One down. Next offering misses and it's 2-2. Two two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two gone now. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click, and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. In there for strike one. pitch lifted in the air out to left Schwarber gets under it and that's the third out so one left for Washington they're still up 7-5 We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Eric Fetty. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. We go to the ninth, and now the shortstop, Bryson Stott. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. No, he's really working that inside oh corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. It was so tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. Hernandez. The throw to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs now at the plate. First pitch, not close. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. And the pitch. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher oh. covering. Now only one out remaining. Now batter, the second baseman, Luis Garcia. And the batter now, Luis Garcia. First pitch, just misses. Two outs. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Nationals have won four in a row. 
Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire throughout.